going on the corner house so I can like us. Hit me on my barn a prepaid wireless. We pack and deliver like UPS trucks. Already gone to hell, just pumping that gas. All I want to do is end up singing and I take your money. All I want to do is end up singing and I take your money. Hello everyone and welcome back to St. Andrew TV. I'm your host Andrew and today I'm going to teach you how to take apart and reassemble your Stoger coach gun. It's really quite simple. However, it can be a bit tricky in some points and I even looked it up the first time I purchased my coach gun to make sure I was doing it right and this video is going to run through all the proper steps to take apart and then reassembling it. So the first thing we're gonna do today is we are going to see if our gun is empty. Then we're gonna close the barrel and then underneath here is a little release that you press down and that piece comes right off. Super simple. And then this is the lever that opens up your gun barrel and that should come right out just like so. This is all there is to disassembling your Stoger coach gun. And usually when your gun is in this current state, you clean it or make sure that you're not seeing any signs of rust in any of the moving parts. Check if your triggers are working. Uh, you can check if your hammers are ship shape, which everything looks to be good. Now here is the part that I personally had to look up on YouTube. This is the tricky part that I was mentioning earlier. The way to reassemble this gun may seem easy in theory, but there is a certain way to do it because if you're a proper gun owner, you obviously did not put your gun away cocked and ready to fire. Therefore, these hammers are loose and I'll try and get a good visual for you. Pull the triggers and the internal hammers are loose. This gun will not fire. And you can see that the pins are exposed, which means that this thing has been ejected at some point. Like I said earlier, this is the part of reassembling your coach gun that I actually had to look up because for some reason I could not get the barrel back on. It just would not, it just won't catch anywhere. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, did I buy a busted gun? Well, you did not. This is the tricky part and I'm gonna tilt the camera down because it's a very, very simple fix. So we're gonna start with this right one here and this is where it gets tricky. You want a nice hard surface such as this table here. And you can see that this has already been fired. Pin is exposed and make sure your gun is in safety where your triggers are locked. You're gonna find a nice hard spot on this table and you're just gonna press it down till you hear it click. The hammer is locked and the pin has now retracted back into the frame. We're gonna do the same thing with the left side now. Find that same spot, press down, hammer is set, pin is retracted, and now we're ready to assemble our barrel. So all you do to reassemble the barrel is make sure the hammers are flat and you are gonna take this piece here and you are gonna hook it back into your frame, like so, and it'll click into place. Your gun is now reattached. Now the only thing missing is this, and you're just gonna feed that right into there, and click. Your gun is now reassembled and ready to go, and like I said, resetting those pins there you have it, put that back into safety. And that is how you disassemble and reassemble your Stoger coach gun. A briefer video today, but I know that I had questions the first time that I bought this thing and I took it apart to clean and see how everything worked. Like with all the guns that I buy, I make sure that I check them out and get acquainted with them before I actually fire them because like with any profession, you wanna know the tools you're working with before you actually use them. 
And I even looked up a YouTube video of how to do said thing. And I figure since I'm gaining more and more of an audience, I would make it easier to anybody who has purchased a Stoker coach gun because that little hammer trick is what caught me the first time. But now that I saw it, it's like riding a bike. I'll never forget how to reassemble that. Please leave a comment because I read all of them and I love hearing from you guys because you're the reason I make these videos and continue to enjoy doing so. Hit the like button if you liked this video and then there's a red button with white lettering that says subscribe. Now, a lot of you have already done that, but for those of you who came across this video for a little tutorial today, think about hitting that button because you're a daisy if you do. Thank you.